As we're all aware, North Korea stands as a hostile and incredibly secretive nation. Its borders tightly sealed, information rarely trickles out, leaving us with mere glimpses into its inner workings. In light of this, we must commend the courage of the people who took the daring step to share these photos with the world. Their act sheds light on how the country treats both its citizens and government officials. Join us as we embark on an exploration of 25 illegal photos smuggled out of North Korea, offering a rare and invaluable glimpse into its hidden world. Number 25. Barbed Wire Fences Escaping North Korea is a daunting task, as evidenced by the formidable barriers erected along its borders. Recent leaks reveal the extent of the government's measures to prevent defection. Miles of coastline are lined with electrified barbed wire fences, serving as a stark reminder of the regime's determination to retain control. These barriers are not mere deterrents. They are actively monitored by guards, ready to intercept anyone attempting to breach them. The risks associated with escape are immense. The electrified fences pose a serious threat to anyone who dares to touch them, delivering a potentially fatal shock. Even if someone manages to evade the fences, they face the daunting challenge of navigating the treacherous terrain and evading capture by patrolling guards. Despite these obstacles, some individuals have attempted to flee the oppressive regime, driven by desperation and the hope of a better life. However, success stories are rare, and the consequences of failure are dire. Those caught attempting to escape face severe punishment, including imprisonment, torture, or even death. Number 24 human waste as fertilizer. In a startling turn of events, human waste has become the focus of attention in North Korea, as citizens grapple with an unthinkable demand of 90 kilograms of human manure daily, mandated by none other than Kim Jong-un himself. This initiative aims to revitalize the country's struggling agriculture. The North Korean leader has initiated a nationwide mobilization, urging citizens to contribute their share to meet the ambitious fertilizer production targets. With quotas set unrealistically high, each person is expected to produce over 200 pounds of human feces daily, totaling around three tons per month. However, the sheer impracticality of such a demand has thrown citizens into disarray, leading to unconventional methods and even financial transactions to cope with the surreal situation. While authorities have attempted to distribute the burden evenly by assigning quotas to factories, institutions, and citizen groups, individuals have resorted to creative strategies, from braving the bitter cold to collect human waste to engaging in cash transactions among themselves. Number 23. Slave Labor Camp Dictatorships like North Korea are notorious for exploiting forced slave labor, often subjecting their own citizens to grueling tasks. In this disturbing image, taken a few years back, two women toil away in one of the government's many labor camps. Their daily routine involves relentless work, from dawn till dusk, under the watchful eye of military overseers. While the full extent of human rights abuses remains unclear, reports of thousands of deaths in such camps are deeply troubling. Sadly, North Korea is not alone in this cruel practice. Nations like China and Russia have also faced accusations of exploiting their citizens as slave laborers. The leaked photo sheds light on the harsh reality faced by those trapped in these labor camps, where lives are lost and hope is scarce. We can only hope for a better future for these innocent individuals trapped in such oppressive conditions. Number 22. Bad Construction. Many of us recognize the inherent social nature of humanity, yet some nations, like North Korea, opt for isolation. While this may seem courageous, the repercussions on its citizens are dire. With limited access to essential resources, construction in North Korea is a perilous endeavor. Lacking proper materials, citizens are forced to make do with what little they have, compromising safety and quality. Leaked photos of poorly constructed buildings in Pyongyang, the capital, underscore the severity of the situation. If this is the state of construction in the heart of the nation, Nation, one can only imagine the conditions in more remote areas. It's a grim reality where builders, lacking proper tools and safety measures, gamble with their lives daily. North Korea's technological limitations and strict import restrictions exacerbate the issue. Without access to modern construction materials, workers resort to makeshift methods, resulting in substandard and unsafe structures. The consequence is an alarming number of construction-related fatalities annually. Number 21. Man Eats Grass 
In our world, food is not just a luxury, but a fundamental necessity for survival. However, in certain societies, such as North Korea, the scarcity of food can lead to dire consequences, with people facing the risk of starvation on a daily basis. This reality may seem distant until you come across an image like the one recently leaked from North Korea. In this photograph, a worn-looking man stands amidst an open grass field, clutching handfuls of grass, a sight that may initially suggest agricultural work. However, upon closer inspection, it becomes apparent that he is not cultivating crops, but rather scavenging for anything edible. This grim scene sheds light on the harsh truth of hunger and deprivation faced by many North Koreans, where necessities like food are elusive for the majority of the population. While the privileged few enjoy lives of abundance and luxury, the vast majority struggle to secure even a basic meal. Number 20. Shopping Mall for the Elite when we talk about inequality, it's often in abstract terms, detached from the harsh realities that many face. But let me show you a glimpse of stark inequality through a leaked photo from North Korea. In this image, we see a woman elegantly dressed, pushing a trolley filled with groceries through a seemingly deserted mall. The emptiness of the mall isn't due to lack of interest or customers, but rather because it's exclusively reserved for the elite class. Access is a privilege restricted to those with elite status or connections. This blatant display of wealth Disparity raises profound questions about societal divisions and the unequal distribution of resources. This picture captures the core of inequality, emphasizing the clear difference between a small group of privileged people and the larger group of marginalized individuals. Number 19. A Mural with Hidden Meanings in this snapshot, we delve into the world of censored art, focusing on a public mural that serves as a vivid portrayal of societal ideals in North Korean cities. These murals, while visually captivating, are not just mere artwork. They are carefully crafted pieces of propaganda strategically placed in public spaces. At first glance, this particular mural depicts an idyllic scene of joyful workers and flourishing farms, seemingly celebrating the nation's agricultural success. However, upon closer inspection, hidden meanings emerge. The exact exaggerated expressions of happiness, the unrealistic abundance of the harvest, and the prominent presence of a soldier subtly hint at the enforced optimism and militaristic focus of the regime. Despite its vibrant colors, this mural is essentially a censored piece of art, reflecting not the reality but a fabricated ideal of North Korean society. This intersection of art and propaganda offers a compelling glimpse into the power dynamics and information control within the country, reminding us of the regime's tight grip on artistic expression and its ability to to manipulate narratives for its own agenda. Number 18. The Border Gunship in North Korea, escape isn't merely difficult, it's lethal. As can be seen in this picture, positioned along the border with China, a female soldier stands guard on a gunship, ready to shoot down anyone attempting to flee. This extreme measure is aimed at preventing economic collapse and suppressing revelations about the regime's atrocities, such as the infamous death camps. With the government wielding absolute power, there are no consequences for these actions. For those living under such oppressive conditions, leaving isn't just about packing bags, it's a perilous gamble with life itself. The regime's tight control over travel and the threat of deadly force create a climate of fear, making escape seem impossible for many citizens. Thus, despite the hardships they endure, most people remain trapped within the borders, unable to seek freedom or safety elsewhere. Number 17. Depleted Rice Field. When we envision North Korea, it's easy to assume that modern infrastructure and social amenities might be the only things lacking. However, the reality is far more sobering. Recent evidence reveals a stark absence of not just modern facilities, but also basic agricultural necessities. Leaked images of depleted rice fields paint a grim picture of the rural heartland, where barren landscapes stretch as far as the eye can see. Instead of thriving agricultural activity, outdated farming practices prevail due to the absence of essential machinery and equipment. This stark contrast between rural struggles and the facade of prosperity projected by Pyongyang highlights the harsh consequences of economic isolation. The plight of farmers reflects the consequences of leadership decisions, leaving North Korea far from the agricultural success one might hope for. Number 16. Children at Play and Unseen Joy in this image, we witness a touching juxtaposition, the vibrant innocence of North Korean children playing against the backdrop of a drab, uniform housing complex. Their radiant smiles and gleeful enthusiasm as they engage in a game of soccer with a makeshift ball stand in stark contrast to the monotonous, concrete surroundings. It's a testament to their resilience and unwavering spirit, showcasing their ability to find joy even in the most challenging circumstances. Yet beneath the surface, there's a poignant undercurrent, the worn-out 
without clothes passed down through multiple siblings, and the barren dirt field amidst the concrete highlight the harsh realities these children face daily. Despite their circumstances, their laughter and playfulness remind us of the universal desire for happiness and connection, transcending borders and political tensions. This image humanizes the North Korean experience, reminding us that these are not just headlines or statistics, but real children, navigating life with courage and hope. It captures an ordinary moment filled with extraordinary emotions, joy, sadness, and resilience. Number 15. Propaganda Village did you know about the fake village in North Korea? It's called Kijong Dong, also known as the Peace Village, and it's quite a spectacle. At first glance, it looks like a typical North Korean settlement, complete with brightly painted houses, schools, daycare centers, and even a hospital. But here's the twist. It's all just for show. Located in the heavily guarded, demilitarized zone between North and South Korea, Kijong Dong is more like a movie set than a real town. The buildings are just concrete shells, with no glass in the windows and electric lights on automatic timers. There's even a crew of maintenance workers workers who sweep the streets regularly to maintain the illusion of a bustling community. So, why build a fake village? North Korea planned to use Kijong Dong to lure South Koreans into defecting by presenting a false image of prosperity and success. This scheme is just one example of the extreme lengths the two countries have gone to in their rivalry, which has led to some bizarre incidents, like the flagpole battle of the 1980s. Number 14. A Night View of Pyongyang Experience the mesmerizing nighttime allure of Pyongyang, North Korea. The cityscape dazzles with illuminated skyscrapers and bustling streets, portraying an image of progress and urban vitality. Yet beneath this luminous facade lies a concealed narrative of hidden truths and disparities. Despite the radiant glow of the city, reports of electricity shortages, especially in rural regions, reveal a stark contrast in resource allocation. This incongruity underscores the socioeconomic divisions within the country, with the capital seemingly favored over other areas. Moreover, amidst the gleaming city lights lurks a pervasive state surveillance system, silently observing every aspect of daily life. This omnipresence, concealed within the urban landscape, adds layers to the narrative, reminding us that appearances can often mask deeper complexities and challenges. Thus, while Pyongyang's nighttime panorama hints at prosperity and modernity, the underlying reality unveils a more nuanced and troubling tale. Number 13. Cistern in Bathroom. In North Korea, hardships are widespread, impacting citizens across all social strata. Even those who appear well-off face challenges, as evidenced by a surprising discovery in a seemingly modern home, a cistern used for water storage in the bathroom. This revelation underscores the nation's plumbing woes, hinting at even harsher conditions endured by the less fortunate. Despite notions of comfort associated with homeownership, the reality is starkly different. Plumbing deficiencies force reliance on makeshift solutions like cisterns, a testament to the government's neglect of its people's basic needs. Delving deeper into housing conditions reveals the integral role of such systems in sanitation infrastructure. Constrained by limited resources and intermittent water supply, residents adopt vigilant water conservation practices, manually regulating flushing to cope with the challenges. This hands-on approach underscores the daily struggle for resource access amid government-regulated utilities and broader infrastructure deficiencies. Number 12. A Hidden Shrine the next photo reveals a rarely seen side of North Korean life, religion. It features a simple, hidden shrine, quietly challenging the state's strict control over religious practices. Despite its unassuming nature, this shrine symbolizes the enduring strength of faith amidst repression. This image provides a rare peek into the spiritual world of some North Koreans, suggesting an undercurrent of belief that persists despite the government's atheistic policies. The shrine stands as a testament to the human desire for spiritual connection and the unwavering power power of faith in challenging circumstances. However, it also highlights the government's control over religion, relegating expressions of faith to hidden spaces. While the shrine represents spiritual resilience, it also underscores the suppression of religious freedoms in the country. Through this photograph, we gain insight into the complex relationship between faith and state authority in North Korea, recognizing the quiet perseverance of spiritual practices despite repression. Number 11. A Rural Train Station. Experience the tranquility of a rural train station in North Korea through this evocative photograph. Unlike bustling urban terminals, this station exudes a profound sense of calm and isolation. The solitary railway track stretching into the distance symbolizes a silent journey, highlighting the stark contrast between urban development and rural seclusion. The absence of passengers and activity underscores the limited connectivity and accessibility in rural areas, emphasizing the geographical isolation faced by those living there. The image 
image also evokes a sense of movement and exploration, with the iron rails leading towards the horizon, sparking curiosity about the journeys they facilitate. However, this serene scene also symbolizes the restrictions on freedom of movement within North Korea, where travel is tightly controlled. Despite the universal symbolism of train journeys as pathways to new experiences, the solitude of this station reflects the constrained reality of life in rural North Korea, where opportunities for exploration and mobility are limited. Number 10. The Weirdest Dolphinarium Ever North Korea's government has constructed a dolphinarium, mirroring those in other nations, ostensibly to showcase national prosperity and provide recreational outlets for its citizens. However, a revealing tourist photograph challenges this narrative. It depicts the dolphinarium filled with soldiers, raising questions about civilian participation. While soldiers seeking leisure isn't unusual, the absence of regular citizens is perplexing. Could financial constraints be hindering civilian attendance? This discrepancy prompts reflection on the government's intentions. Is the Dolphinarium truly for the enjoyment of all citizens, or does it serve to uphold a facade of national sophistication? The exclusion of regular citizens casts doubt on the accessibility of such recreational facilities. This disparity invites deeper scrutiny into the government's priorities and its commitment to fulfilling the needs and desires of its people. Number 9. A Family Dinner Scene Step into the intimacy of a North Korean household with the captivating photograph, offering a rare glimpse into leisure time. Here, amidst modest surroundings, a family gathers around the dinner table, their faces reflecting a blend of weariness and warmth. Despite the challenges they endure, a palpable sense of unity prevails as they share a simple meal. The sparse arrangement of the table speaks volumes about food scarcity, yet each family member savors the humble fare, embodying resilience and solidarity in the face of adversity. This scene underscores the contrast between the controlled public sphere and the private sanctuaries of familial connection, where shared experiences offer moments of respite. However, even in these private moments, the omnipresent influence of the state is felt, as mandatory portraits of the Kim dynasty adorn the walls, a reminder of constant surveillance. Thus, this image encapsulates the multifaceted nature of North Korean life, blending resistance with resilience, state control with the enduring human pursuit of joy amid the mundane. Number 8. Pleasure Squad in the enigmatic world of North Korea, whispers abound about a group known as the Pleasure Squad. Though officially denied by the government, defectors' tales paint a captivating yet murky picture of this alleged cadre of women hand-picked to bring personal delight to the country's leaders. Picture this. Young women dressed in unconventional uniforms compete for selection, their beauty, talents, and connections under scrutiny. Rumors suggest they undergo mysterious training to entertain the upper echelons, including the elusive Supreme Leader. But there's a darker side. Unsettled Settling practices like invasive virginity examinations add a chilling layer to this clandestine group. Meanwhile, North Korea's military prowess is a stark contrast to its economic status. With over 7 million members, the North Korean army ranks among the world's largest. Many are conscripted rather than volunteering out of patriotic fervor. While men dominate combat roles, the country boasts a significant female workforce. These women, though not engaged in combat, wield ceremonial katanas in marches and perform displays for the supreme leader adding to the regime's spectacle of power and control. Number 7. Bad Prison Camp Conditions Defectors who escape North Korea's oppressive regime shed light on the dire conditions within political prison camps. Their harrowing testimonies unveil a pattern of systematic human rights violations, including forced labor, torture, and degrading treatment. Those imprisoned, often for political reasons, endure brutal punishment, subjected to exhausting tasks and harsh living conditions. Despite the grim accounts, fully grasping the extent of these atrocities proves challenging due to limited independent verification. The secretive nature of the regime hampers external scrutiny, allowing North Korea to deny or minimize allegations, presenting a sanitized version to the world. However, international bodies, including human rights organizations and the United Nations, express deep concern and call for transparency, independent investigations, and accountability. While defector testimonies are invaluable, the global community stresses the importance of independent verification to address these abuses effectively. Efforts to uncover the truth face obstacles, with North Korea tightly controlled controlling the narrative. Number 6. Soldier at Ease 
In this rare glimpse, we see a North Korean soldier taking a moment to smoke a cigarette, offering a brief insight into the lives of those serving in the military. Behind their stern exterior lies a remarkable story of resilience and sacrifice. For many, military service in North Korea is a lengthy commitment, spanning over a decade for men and seven years for women. Impressively, those selected for the special unit guarding Kim Jong-un commit to an astonishing 13 years of service. Military duty is a rite of passage, typically following high school or, for some, university graduation. The duration of service varies based on education level, with bachelor's degree holders serving five years and science or engineering graduates three. This unique policy, conceived by the late Kim Jong-il, aimed to promote a scientific focus. However, the greatest challenge for soldiers isn't mastering combat skills, but coping with hunger. While special units receive relatively decent provisions, those stationed outside Pyongyang often endure meager meals, sometimes consisting of just two or three potatoes. This dietary scarcity contributes to North Korean soldiers being shorter on average than their South Korean counterparts. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Take a careful look at this thought-provoking image. In this striking photograph, we witness a perplexing scene with the supreme leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, engaged in an unusual interaction with a female citizen who is noticeably unclothed from the waist up. The implications of this encounter are shrouded in mystery, prompting us to ponder the circumstances behind such a stark display. What could have led to this moment? Is it a symbolic gesture, a cultural tradition, or something more sinister? Share your interpretations and insights in the comments below as as we unravel the enigmatic narrative behind this captivating image. Number 5. Worst Airline in the World Imagine stepping onto an Air Choreo flight, North Korea's sole airline, ready to soar through the skies and perhaps encounter the thrill of being dubbed the only one-star airline or the worst airline in the world. Let's take a journey through the clouds and unpack this infamous reputation. Skytrax, a widely recognized airline and airport review website, initially assigned Air Choreo the one-star label, assessing various flight aspects from frequent flyer programs to in-flight entertainment. While Skytrax ratings are unofficial, the one star airline title quickly spread across travel blogs and tabloids. However, in a twist of fate, Skytrax later revised its rating to airline not rated, prompting registered users on the website to give Air Corio a more forgiving 6 out of 10. This debate surrounding Air Corio's status adds a layer of intrigue to the aviation world. Is it truly the nadir of air travel, or perhaps an unfairly criticized hidden gem? Just envision the discussions among travelers, each with their tales of flights that may have garnered Air Corio both criticism and redemption. Number 4. Fear and Obedience – Citizens at a Rally in this revealing photograph, we witness a familiar sight in North Korea, a mass rally. Here, a multitude of citizens, each clutching propaganda placards, partake in a display of apparent unity and allegiance to the regime. Faces in the crowd reflect a spectrum of emotions, from impassive to deeply engrossed, echoing the state's narrative of widespread patriotic zeal. Yet beneath this facade of unity lies a more disquieting truth. The eerie uniformity of the crowd, their seemingly scripted gestures, and the pervasive presence of propaganda materials materials hint at a deeper reality of fear and submission imposed by the state. This image unveils the nuanced dynamics of public sentiment in North Korea, blending genuine pride with coerced participation and underlying apprehension. The rally shows how fear and obeying the rules are important in North Korea. It helps us understand what life is really like there, beyond just what we see on the surface. Number 3. Sinchon Museum of American War Atrocities Nestled in Sinchon County, North Korea, the Sinchon Museum of American War Atrocities is a solemn dedication to unveiling the haunting tales of the Sinchon Massacre during the Korean War. Resurrected in July 2015 and now proudly standing in a new location, this museum invites visitors to delve into the events that transpired from October 17 to December 7, 1950. Imagine stepping into a space that encapsulates the tumultuous period when major North Korean cities, including the capital Pyongyang and Hama, Hung were under the occupation of South Korean, American, and United Nations military forces. As you wander through the exhibits, paintings on the museum walls vividly narrate the stories of over 35,000 lives lost. However, the plot thickens. The South Korean-based Institute for Korean Historical Studies introduces a twist, suggesting that both communists and anti-communist vigilantes played roles in the widespread slaughter. Number 2. Child Labor 
In North Korea, the government exploits its own people, treating them like modern-day slaves. But what's truly alarming is the extent of this exploitation, especially when it comes to forced labor, which doesn't even spare the youngest members of society. Shocking images circulating online reveal the grim reality, children toiling away in the fields under the watchful eyes of soldiers. These kids should be enjoying their childhood, going to school, or playing with friends. Instead, they're forced to work from dawn till dusk, enduring grueling conditions with little to no compensation. It's heartbreaking to see them laboring under the blazing sun, farming and tilling the land just to survive. And the presence of soldiers adds another layer of oppression, ensuring compliance through coercion or even abuse. Number 1. The Hidden Cost of Parades A Backstage View The Hidden Toll of Grand Parades A Behind-the-Scenes Glimpse In this photo, we're given a rare backstage pass to the elaborate parades often showcased by North Korean state media. This image reveals a group of performers, visibly worn out and clustered together, far from the polished image they present to the public. Their tired expressions, in stark contrast to their colorful costumes, offer a raw and unfiltered look at the human cost of these extravagant displays of national pride. While these these grand parades are meant to symbolize North Korean unity and prosperity, this backstage view exposes a different truth. It highlights the state's prioritization of appearance over the well-being of its people. Behind the scenes, performers, expected to maintain a cheerful facade, experience exhaustion and strain, a stark contrast to the smiles and choreographed movements seen by the public. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.